This story and more is brought to you by Book Club Audio, the Australian audiobook marketplace. Find more amazing stories at bookclubaudio.com. Let's go to Hawaii. It was a grey day in Charlie's backyard. Rain fell down like sharp swords and the trees shook wildly in the wind. Charlie looked out the kitchen window and made a decision. Mummy, can I play in the lounge room, please? She asked. No worries, darling, Mummy said. Just be careful, okay? Mummy smiled kindly. Charlie dragged her doona and pillows into the lounge room and lined up her favourite toys on the couch. Let's all go to Hawaii, she said happily. That chance, said Teddy. Yes, please, said gorgeous Gloria. Wake me up when we get there, said Bonzo Clownface. Charlie explained. Auntie June went to Hawaii for a holiday. She showed me the video and she brought back presents for me. Charlie ran into her room and came back wearing a grass skirt over her trackies, some bright coloured beads around her neck and a red paper flower in her hair. She wiggled her hips and said, I'm a hula girl and I live in Hawaii. Charlie described her island home to the toys. The dining table was her beach shack. The floor rug was a lagoon and the tall, trendy lamp was a palm tree. A row of cushions formed a coral reef. Got it, guys? Charlie asked. The toys nodded. Gorgeous Gloria leant against the palm tree. Teddy scuba dived on the coral reef, and Bonzo clown-faced dozed in the shade of the beach shack. This is my canoe. Charlie sat on a pillow in the middle of the rug lagoon and paddled with a soup ladle. The toys watched on lazily in the warm Hawaiian sunshine. Yo, Gigi, what's up, girl? Coco the cat strolled onto the beach. We are in Hawaii, said gorgeous Gloria, who explained the setup. Can I play? asked Coco. I can be a Hawaiian lion. You don't look like a lion, said Charlie. If you paddle a pretend canoe, then I can be a pretend lion, said Coco. But there aren't any lions in Hawaii, said gorgeous Gloria. Maybe I escaped from a pretend circus, like Bonzo Clownface over there, said Coco. All right, you can play, said Charlie. Charlie took all her friends for a paddle, in the canoe on the lagoon. Gorgeous Gloria nearly fell in. Teddy wanted to paddle himself, and Bonzo Clownface dozed off again. Hey, wait for me, Coco roared. Then he leapt from the roof of the beach shack into the canoe, knocking the palm tree across the coral reef onto the real shelf and sending a real vase crashing to the real floor. Mummy rushed into the lounge room, Oh dear, she said. Charlie and the toys and the cat were in a tangled heap on the rug. Sorry, Mummy, whimpered Charlie. To everyone's surprise, Mummy started to laugh. I never really liked that vase. Auntie June brought it back from Whoop Whoop, somewhere in Europe. Now all of you sit on the couch while I tidy up. Phew, that was close whispered Teddy. That was all your fault, scolded gorgeous Gloria. I didn't mean it, said Coco. Did I miss something? asked Bozo Clownface. They all laughed. Later, Mummy spread the doona over the dining table and put pillows underneath, making a cosy cubby house for Charlie and her toys. Coco squeezed in too. Mummy sat down next to the cubby. 
Everyone comfy in here? She asked. Yes, Mummy, said Charlie. Sorry about the vase. It was an accident, darling, said Mummy. That means no one is to blame. I love being a hula girl, said Charlie. I think the hula girl needs a nap, said Mummy, as she got up from the floor. I need my beauty sleep, yawned gorgeous Gloria. Yeah, me too, <laughs> chuckled Teddy. Bonzo Clownface was already asleep, resting against Coco, who purred softly. Oh, I am an Hawaiian lion. I love you guys, whispered Charlie. We, we love, love you, you too, Charlie. Charlie.